Simple InOut has a lot of amazing ways that you can interact with your InOut board. We build applications for phones and desktop computers and even televisions. We have SimpleInOut.com and we have amazing integrations with Slack and Teams. Today we're going to focus on the tablet applications we build, specifically an application we call FrontDesk. FrontDesk is a tablet application you can install on any tablet in a physical area and it accomplishes two important things. First is it allows you to see your board. As you can see here from the tablet application, I have users in two columns. These are my users who are available and these are my users who are gone. I can scroll through them easily. So I can see my board and this of course keeps itself up to date throughout the day in sync with simpleandout.com. The second thing Front Desk allows your users to do as they come and go from this area is they can instantly uh, update their status just by interacting with this board. So let's assume that I'm uh, Ethan Williams and maybe I'm coming in for work for the day. I've come to the tablet here and as Ethan Williams, I can just swipe myself and that's all there is to it. Ethan Williams is now in and you can see I've left the right column and I'm now on the left side. I'm in and that is easy. If I'm leaving for the day, I can easily just do the opposite of swipe myself back and now I'm out. It's as easy as that. So you can imagine your users coming in and just swiping themselves in and out to get their day going. Now let's assume maybe that uh, I'm doing something a little bit more detailed and I would like to leave a better comment behind. Well, the nice thing is you can just tap on Ethan Williams, pulls up Ethan Williams card so I can see what's going on. And I could also interact with this by using all those same methods we have everywhere else. So that means I can take advantage of a company quick pick, for example. So maybe I'm Ethan, but I'm uh, actually going to lunch. I can just tap the at lunch. And now instantly I'm at lunch in a break status instead, uh, which conveys again more context. And context is amazing because that makes your board more useful. Now, if I'm Ethan and I wanna leave a more detailed note, I can certainly do that too, because I have access to my comment field here as well. So I can go ahead and pick a status. And maybe I could say something like, uh, maybe I'm not feeling well. I could put myself on sick and say, uh, uh, sick leave today. Send. And there we go. So I've left more context behind still. So front desk, a great way to see your board and to interact with it. Now, I'm going to take a look at something else here as well. As an administrator, you have a lot of different settings that you could utilize here on Front Desk to make your tablet more useful. Now, if I tap the settings gear up here in the upper right, this will allow me to log into the back end area. Of course, I need to be an administrator in order to get access to these settings. That way, some random person walking by the tablet can't monkey with uh, whatever you want the tablet to do. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in off screen here. So now I'm in the settings area. And while there are a bunch of things you could do in the settings area, I wanna draw your attention to two amazing settings that will make your tablet even more useful. The first is the default status message. So I'm gonna tap on that. Now, by default, when a user swipes, uh, we will set them to in and out, but you can control the comment that's left behind. Now, most of our customers use this because they wanna leave a physical comment behind for which of the tablets they set up. If you have multiple office buildings or if you have multiple egg entries and um, egresses and you wanna set up a tablet at every one, you can make this more interesting. So I will say this is in at, uh, let's say front door, left via front door. Oops. Uh, so what this does, of course, is it makes your board more useful because now when users swipe, they're gonna leave a comment behind so you have an idea of which one of the tablets they interacted with. Now, the second thing I'm gonna point out is we have controls over the column settings. So if I tap on column settings here, now you can see in this organization, I have all of the statuses enabled. Um, you can enable or disable statuses as an administrator, depending on your use cases, but you can choose which um, one of the columns. By default, of course, um, all your end users will always be on the left. All your out users will always be on the right. But the other statuses, you can control where they go. So as you can see right now, we have end users and people who are remote, maybe people who are working from home, they're in the left column. So I can always see on the left column who's available. And then on the right column are all the other statuses. But perhaps my use case is we're using Simplin Out for something like emergency management or mustering. If that's the case, I may only want to see users who are physically in our building, not necessarily their availability. If that were my use case, I could just move our remote users from the left over to the right. 
And you can see that maybe I can even hide some users. So maybe I'm suggesting that if a user is sick, maybe I just want them off the board entirely so I don't have to worry about my board being cluttered with people who are sick or on vacation. That's again an option that you have. But by doing this, you can control where your users go. Now, if I close this and I do a refresh, we'll see that my, my uh, users for the board have gone ahead, uh, my working from home users, they are now on the right. So front desk, a great way, again, to display your board in a manner of your choosing and to allow people to interact with it as they come and go.